Hi guys welcome to my channel. A lot of guys ask me about dealing how rank pressure so I made this guide. First of all I need to tell you that you have to know his moves and punish as well. I will share link in video and description how rank complete punish guide. Then I made another video I will give a link on how to interrupt how orang's flamingo stance. Now the main thing is when Hao Rang is pressurizing you with his annoying stance moves go for the lowest possible frames move to interrupt him. And Paul has best lowest frame move is simple one too. If you try to go for other moves he will get you. Like when he use 1-2 to Flamingo simple 1-2 works a lot in annoying him. But when you do it a lot a good player will definitely do that move to launch you for that you have to be ready to duck launch him. Because here 1-2 will not work as he gets plus frames from his 1-2 to Flamingo. Second thing you have to keep in mind is forward 1 plus 4. That's the best pressure breaking move. It works 80% in that kind of situations except for Amings. Third best thing to do in pressurized situations is 4. In some situations doesn't work but still can get you out of it. And if you get right you can reverse the pressure by making a good combo from here. 2-3 is also a good option in breaking pressure. It is also 10 frames move and better than 1-2 if hit right. It will knock down and give you a chance for Okazami. Then the most important thing is to sidestep or sidewalk, that's the best option as Haorang will give you a lot of opportunities to sidestep or sidewalk, you will know by watching my punish guide where you can take side. And when you see Haorang move list you will notice he has a lot of high moves and during his string pressure he use a lot of high moves. Sometimes you should try randomly duck to launch it will work. Ha ha ha. In low moves down 3-4 is the biggest problem. That's fast and on block most people think they can duck launch it. But a good player will never let you launch that. He will definitely go for moves that save duck launch if you block it. I thought while crouching down forward 1 plus 2 can be a good solution but that's also not 100% workable. So I mostly use while standing 3-2 that works better. But the best thing you can do is to parry it when you are blocking mid and lows keep an eye out cause he will definitely go for that low and you should parry it. And if you can't then still can block other moves to punish. One another thing I will like to mention is down back one to interrupt. As you may know Paul has a move on down one so he has to do down back one for that. That helps to break a lot of how rank pressurizing strings. Crushers are very disturbing I don't know why they keep giving him more and more all kind of crushers. For that you have to block punish most of the time when you practice you will know where he is going to do crushers. Otherwise low moves can save you from crushers also. Down back one is also helping in crushers. And don't forget you have crushers too. When Haorang is standing like that at a distance. 100% sure he is planning to do that annoying crusher. So he can launch you if you do a mid or high. For that you can use double forward 2-2 or you can do QCF3 for a combo. And finally when he is in rage and he is trying to do a lot of strings that definitely a sign of a rage drive. That is safe so you should keep low parry in mind. So that's for today thanks for watching goodbye.